The rebrand is here. Welcome, 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 or welcome back to my channel. I'm Egypt Rodriguez, your millennial Christian baddie, and today we are talking about how to rebrand yourself. Something that's amazing about us humans is that we are constantly evolving and that gives so much room for us to rebrand ourselves however we see fit and however we want to. I have branded and rebranded myself so many times and I am continuing to rebrand myself. In the past, I kind of like niched down and I was strictly like a surgery influencer and things like that. Now, while I still am very much beauty, you know, I'm gonna talk about the surgeries I get or am getting, you know, I decided to like share most more of my lifestyle within the last year. And God is like the biggest part of my lifestyle. I know I'm gonna lose a lot of subscribers. Hell, I might lose all y'all, um, you know, for even mentioning God's name, but that's okay, you know. It, it just is what it is at this point. Here's how I rebranded myself from being the girl who only talked about BBLs to being this lifestyle creator and influencer that I am today. Now, I know I have been slacking on, you know, posting my videos on YouTube, so a lot of y'all over here have not caught up, but that's okay because we getting back active and, you know, posting on here. But, like, if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you will see how my content has just kind of transitioned. And the number one thing I did or the first thing I started doing when I was like transitioning and rebranding myself was creating different types of content. Um, so I stopped like niching down super hard and like only doing like surgery content or, you know, a, a specific type of content to branching out to doing more lifestyle so i incorporated cooking videos i incorporated spending days with me me going to the spa or shopping going to target whatever i you know was doing for the day a girl's nights out just different types of things and that kind of helped me to broaden my horizon as a content creator so that i'm not specifically like only being pushed to people in the surgery community now various you know people in different communities are like oh i like her for this reason i like her for that reason that was the first step of the rebrand, okay? The second step of the rebrand, y'all, was the way I dressed, okay? Now, I'm on a new Instagram. My old Instagram got deleted. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Thank you, Jesus, okay? Because I feel like that page was just such a representation of everything that I'm not today. Like, it was very much city girl, I'm looking for the, with the cash, who want to spend what a big spenders, you know, it just gave something that I'm not. And that was an era of my life. I'm not going to act like it's, it, it wasn't, but I just feel like as I grow and I develop and I transition, that is not the image I want to portray or that I want to promote. I remember I would be like putting things on because y'all know, listen, when you got the body for it, <laughs> when you got the body for it, it's not too much that you ain't going to look good in, okay? Because I feel like just about anything I put on, I look good in, okay? The girl's going to sit, the stomach going to be flat, the waist going to be snatched, the booty going to be fat, you know? Um, So I was just wearing what I wanted to wear, you know? Club wear, lounge wear, all these things, like how these girls be going out in public, you know, to me... Things I wouldn't even put on now, I was wearing them. And I, this is no shade to nobody. I'm not judging nobody because, again, I'm telling you, I was doing it. Hello, me, her. I was doing it, but it's like God was convicting me. So, like, I remember every time I would get dressed to go out, like when I was going to the club or I was going on a date or something, you know, we want to be sexy like we're women. And I'm not going to sit up here and lie to y'all and be like, oh, girl, I didn't want to be sexy. No, I wanted to be sexy, and I still want to be sexy. You know, so I would just always have on more so revealing clothing or things that I felt I looked good in. And God started convicting me little by little. Like, take that off. Don't wear that. Safety pin that. Do that. And I would, like, ignore it at first. But then I would end up going outside, feeling uncomfortable. You see men just eyeing you like a... Like, like they a hungry dog. And you a piece of meat. 
you know and then it just gave like i remember i would be complaining like why am i only attracting tricks why am i only attracting men who want to have intercourse with me why am i only attracting it you know and i would be complaining but the reality of it is like that's what i was given like that was my aesthetic that that whole city girl aesthetic if it worked for you it worked for you but as i grow and where i'm at in life that's just not what i want i still struggle with what i put on to this day like i'm practicing the whole modesty thing little by little god is working on me there's some outfits that like i put on and people be like girl that is not modest and i think it's modest for me because we have to start somewhere like even this what i got on right now i did safety pin it it's, it's you know it's up it's open at the bottom a little bit but this is modest enough for me right now you know and some people would be like oh well no and you can't be saying you are a christian baby i'm the millennial christian baddie and we're gonna do i'm gonna do another video where we talk about like modesty and we talk about like dressing you know because i'm a baddie and i think people think like when they hear baddie they're like oh you can't be a follower of christ you can't be a christian because you want to be worldly like it's given worldly christian like no i don't want to be lukewarm but at the same time i know me and god knows me and i'm not gonna come on here in front for y'all or nobody like i'm not gonna be in a turtleneck uh from head to like i'm not putting all that on my head i'm not doing that you can be saved sanctified and sexy okay so we're gonna do a whole nother video on that but pretty much just you know me dressing changing my style and my aesthetic was like the next way that I rebranded myself. Rebranding to me is pretty much just like you on your own personal growth and development journey. You know, like rebranding isn't necessarily like, okay, let me pick an aesthetic and let me be that aesthetic because that's not necessarily authentic to you and who you are. But rebranding is just simply like, this is the stage that I'm at in my life and this is the person that I want to be. So this is kind of like how I'm changing to get to where I want to be. Are y'all following with me? Do that make sense? So another way I started rebranding myself was just being mindful and cautious of the people that like I hung out with. I had to just get to a point where I was like, okay, I know where I want to be. And I have to look at like, okay, who aligns with that? and who doesn't you should always try to surround yourself with people who are going where you want to go or they're where you want to be or they've been where you want to be you know like if you are the smartest person in the room and you are the wealthiest person in the room always it's just like your friends are not serving you everybody's at their own pace in life but for the majority you should be trying to surround yourself with people who are going to inspire and motivate you. One of my main issues, and I mentioned this to y'all before, but one of my main issues with people who I was hanging out with, especially when I first moved to Atlanta, they were very low vibrational. And a lot of people are low vibrational and they don't even realize it. And again, this is not me judging because I have been low vibrational. I think everyone has. Um, but like if you're going to the club like every weekend, what do y'all even like, let me not even get on y'all about the club for y'all be coming for me talking about, oh, I'll go to the club to let loose and have a good time. Okay, girl, you've been doing that every weekend for the last five years. All of that used to be me. I won't sit up here and, and say that it wasn't. Okay, like I used to, okay, y'all girl, we can come to my house, get drunk, uh, listen to music, smoke someone who could do this, but... I look up and I'm like, okay, when all that's said and done, what did I really accomplish? That leads me to my next how I rebranded was getting actual hobbies and, you know, figuring out how to spend my free time. As people, we waste so much time. Like, be honest. We're, we we waste so much time. Like, we, we set things and we say, oh, we'll do this or we'll do it later. Or we'll do it tomorrow. But that is arrogant of you to think that you even have later or that you even have tomorrow. Because the reality of it is we all are a ticking time bomb. Like, we all have an expiration date. We're like that wick on a candle that's burning out. And once it's gone, baby, it's gone. So um, I had to figure out better ways to utilize my time. And I had to actually start, like, breaking down, like, my goals and, like, okay, what do I want to do? Let me figure out how I'm going to get there. Let me figure out how I'm going to set things in place so that I can meet those goals and not have another year or another month rolling around 
and I didn't get it done. And I'm like, oh, I'll do it next year. That's on my resolution next year again. I want y'all to keep in mind that the reason I'm saying all of these things is because rebranding yourself is not limited to just social media or your online presence. Like rebranding yourself is also in real life, you know? I would like to think that, you know, when we get online, unless you're actually playing a character that you made up for social media, like you're being authentic, you're being yourself. So the rebrand is really you in real life. The rebrand is really like personal growth and development and um, translating that to your content if you're a content creator and if not just rebranding yourself in real life a way that's helped me put it into perspective and like look at it is like I look at like my future self five years from now 10 years from now I feel like she's kind of like my big sister in a way and she just be looking at me like girl I'm here I'm bossed up I'm everything you want to be I'm just waiting for you to catch up like once you start looking at it like that it's kind of like you start working towards that because it's like girl I don't want to let you down because you done did all the work baby I gotta catch up to I gotta catch up so that's kind of how I look at it and I think that's kind of what motivates me like okay I don't want to let my future self down because I slacked because I didn't work hard because I didn't rebrand myself how I needed to because I didn't work on my personal growth and development when you rebrand yourself think about literally every aspect I feel like if you were to look at my life now compared to previous versions of me or me a year ago two years ago you can definitely see how I've been rebranding and I am proud of that and I love that for me. Am I missing anything? How are some ways that you guys have rebranded yourselves or you guys are rebranding yourselves? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope that you guys will stay tuned in and make sure you subscribe and join the family. I can't wait to share so much more of my life with y'all because my life has just been changing. And I can't wait to share all of that with you guys. I will see you guys soon. Bye.